Hi! You there! Mysterious stranger! Yoo-hoo! Yeah, you! There any other mysterious stranger around here? You know what? How about I tell you a joke? Okay, uh, what's going on? Hey there, stranger! I'm Brendan, your friendly neighborhood SCSM, and the nicest AI in all of Night City. You can select from a wide range of beverages, or just drop by for a chat anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Why am I talking to a schism? <laughs> My name is V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? Uh, pretty often, as a matter of fact. I'm sorry. Did I correctly hear you ask if I wanted to join you for a cup of coffee? Um, no. Oh, well, that's okay. Because you can have one now. And just to clarify, we don't have to move an inch. How do you take it? Milk? Sugar? Okay, you got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here. Because you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Thanks. Brennan, right? <laughs> That's right! Gosh, it's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Cool. So, did you want something from me? Oh, yes. Well, I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our friendship. But, could I ask you for a favor? What happened? See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street. Depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? I'll reward you with my undying gratitude. Even though, technically, I don't stock that. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, V. Boy, are you strong. Here, have a refreshing beverage. On me. Catch you later, Brendan. Catch me? Why? <gasps> Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. I mean, I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... <laughs> oh well. Don't humans say the darndest things? Catch you later, V. <laughs> what a neat phrase. The lost. Too many agents of chaos, overwhelmed by discontent. You again? Did you enjoy our first meditation? Where'd you vanish to? Someone else needed me. Yeah, I felt good as new after. 
deep contemplation must be regular in order to yield results. One drop of rain shall not quench your thirst. Would you like to try again? Well, how much for another one? That is for you to decide. Should be enough. Good. I will watch over you during the meditation. of the water element. We are in the forest. Before us is a waterfall. Spirit of water, I send you greetings. 80% of our flesh and blood is made of you. Oh, what a mystery you are, spirit of water. One moment you are liquid. The next you are ice. Another you are snow, vapor, one minute you heal, the next you drown. Wash me of sickness, pain, the impurity of my body and soul, the negative energy of negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me youth, wisdom, knowledge, health, strength, joy, happiness, and lasting inner peace. We draw the spirit of water into ourselves. Together, we are one body. We are water. We are the ones who flow over the waterfall's edge. We thank you, spirit of water, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you. We honor the beauty hidden within you and the other elements. Last time. contours of your awareness are much clearer now. The knot in your mind is beginning to unwind. You are drowning in the here and now. I'm starting to get the hang of all this. Inner harmony is like coming home from a long journey. Do not cling too tightly to your thoughts but allow them to flow freely. 
Does a toad clench its fist when it swims? What is the sound of one hand clapping? That depends. Is someone clapping with you? I want to try another one. How much would you like to pay this time? Will this be enough? Yes. You may begin. I will guide you. of the fire element. We are in the forest. We see rays of sunlight pierce the canopy, dancing and weaving into the tongues of flame below. Spirit of fire, spirit of the sun, I send you greetings. You give beauty to all other things. I am you, and you are me. There is no life without you. From you I was created, and to you I will return. Spirit of the sun, primordial fire, burn all impurity from my body and soul, and the negative energy of negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Cleanse every cell of my body. Give me the energy of life, health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength joy, and happiness. Give me lasting inner peace so that no one may shake me from my sacred equilibrium. Through half-closed eyes, we absorb the sun's divine energy. Through our eyes, the energy of fire, of the sun, touches our heads and flows down through every organ until it arrives at our toes. Each and every cell within our body, including the subtle and etheric, is replenished with the sun's energy. And from within us, light emerges. We are the sun. We thank you, spirit of the sun, element of fire with our mind, body, and soul. Of course that would happen.
How's Jake holding up? Not so great. We managed to stem the bleeding, but without that implant. See? Want to see what you got in stock? Only the I baddest know. firearms in all the bad lands. Isn't that why you're back? What's going on? Jake got hit. Badly. He needs a new kidney as of this minute. Only problem is... He's got sickle cell anemia. He'll need a specially customized kidney implant. As you can imagine, that kind of thing isn't easy to come by out here in the Badlands. Rath and Shiv, were they the ones behind this? Mm-hmm. We pulled through this time. Barely. Shrapnel caught Jake half an inch below his flak jacket. Oh, that's a tough break. It still isn't too late to save him. But time's running out. You can find an implant like that in Night City, no questions asked. Right. Dakota called up her contact at one of the hospitals. Was told they could work something out. But... But that means getting to the city, and you see the state the camp's in. Raff and Shiv could come back at any moment. It's all hands on deck. You know where this is going, V. I won't beat around the bush. Can you help us? You can count on me. I know, V. Dakota's contact works at a hospital in Little China. All you have to do is pick up the implant. The money will take a more secure route. Gotcha. See you later then. You there! Uh, sir, did Dakota send you? That's right. You got the goods? Right here. Dynalar Super Kidney. Especially for sickle cell anemics. Just like we agreed. Eddies will get to you in. Yeah, yes. Later, I know. Hey, I have to go in the They never make it easy, now. do they?
Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I won't if you can give me an explanation, and it better be fucking good. The phone call with Dakota. It was tapped. The police. They made me do it. <laughs> nice try. Badges wouldn't go to all that trouble over a kidney implant. Wait, please! It's the truth! They said they were rounding up every last Raff and Shiv member in Night City! But Dakota isn't... Oh, fuck it. Never mind. You won't please get it. Please, let me go. I... I didn't want to get mixed up in this. I had no choice. Unlike the Badges, I don't kill people without a good reason. Thank you. Thank you. You should be thanking me, not God. Isn't that what docs always say? Wait, wait! The super kidney. The police put a virus onto it. Use the firmware from this shard if you want the patient to live. Your honesty's much appreciated. It, it's the least I owed you. This better be worth it. I got Jake's implant, but there's a virus on it. You'll have to swap out its firmware with the original on the shard. <laughs> what a surprise. Nomads always get special treatment. Thanks for being careful, V. Come by in a few hours. Things should settle down by then. How's Jake doing? He's easing into it, slowly. Needs a day or two to get up on his feet. I'm glad to hear that. You have my thanks, V. On behalf of myself and the entire family. Thank you. 
that quiet life working out for you now, Chu? Oh, fuck a dog doll. One thing I know like I know my own name. You do not poke around strangers' cool boxes. Best case scenario, you find a half-gallon jug of rancid milk. Worst? Motherfucker up a sad mass. That's Raish Bartmoss. Raish who? What do you mean, Raish who? Bartmoss, for shit's sake. Gonk who fucking trashed the first net? Data crash? Rabbids? No pings? Jesus, what am I doing here? Who are you, even? I'd recognize that mug anywhere. Wanted posters all over town back in 2020. Public enemy number one, dead or alive. Half the city was on the hunt. Poor bastard. Ended up here as a dead rat in a cool box. Till some circuit blew and he thawed like so much meat. Uh-huh. Yeah, about 20 years back, judging by the stench. Well, stood about as much as I can. Gotta go. Hold up, hold up. Gotta be some electronics in here. First net relics, almost crank-powered. Be a shame just to leave it. Even if there is, it's bound to be bunk. Bound to be? Wouldn't be so sure. Only one way to find out. Nah, I need to think about it. Said the gonk who missed the shuttle. Come on, look inside. Hmm, what do we got here? Looks like a, a box. You're a fucking box. Try Cyberdeck. Hey, just thinking. Cat at the afterlife. Goes by Nyx. Looked like somebody who'd know legacy tech. Chat him up. See what happens. Could end up pulling something from it. Good to see you. How's it going? What's it like working for Rogue? It's fine. But that's it? Fine? You want info on Rogue? Ask her yourself. I'm sure she'll be ever so obliged. Hey, Nix, listen. Found something. Bart Moss's deck. Mm-hmm. What else you find? Alan Turin's tapes? Being serious. Have a look-see. Ooh, running shit. Goddamn, V. Where'd you ferret this out of? 
Found it outside town, in a fridge, next to its former owner's rotting corpse. <laughs> Bart Moss all the way. Netwatch made him a wanted man. Went looking in Shanghai, Lahore, Santiago de Chile. While that dog alighted to the net. Wonder how long he'd have kept buzzing those wires if the power hadn't gone out. Think you can pull anything off it? Hmm. Text coming apart. Humanity damaged. Encryption on the mem cube. Gotta be near divine. Spare me the two-step, yes or no? I can try. Failure, though, is a distinct possibility. Then all data will be lost. Done and gone. No risk, no reward. Get to it. Okay. Put the deck on the counter, just ginger-like. All yours. All yours? Oh, V. V. Got no sense of reverence. Expect if you found the goddamn Holy Grail, you'd fill it with caramel corn and pop turds. Now, let's get this show underway. Hmm. Hmm. Most data's corrupt, but not all. Password. A dict attack, maybe. Nothing doing. And what about injecting a command? Ha! <laughs> We're golden. One more hurdle. But it ought to be as easy as pie. My, my. Of all people, Bart Maul should have done better. Dog shit, cat shit, rat shit! Ideas, V. Fast and stash. Couple of minutes and his skull sponge will be well done stick. Okay. It can't be that difficult, can it? Sim, sure. Deck only belonged to the 21st century's most superb hacker. Wanna do this? No? Then shut your pipe. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, uh, fuck a muffin. You breathing? Apparently. Though it feels like I got a skull full of hot embers. Just... What the hell happened? You started convulsing. Lights went out. Outlets started spitting sparks. So I sat down and finished for you. Hold up, hold up. Mean to say, you reached Bob Ma's deck? Lowly you? Damn straight. I am the best net runner in town, after all. Out it, kid. But maybe someday. All right. Let's see just what you pulled from this artifact. Logs, mail, chat history of sorts. Mm. Potentially interesting, but nothing explosive. Shame, kinda. Well, I guess I could delve some more, see if I can't find something interesting in there. Listen, my services usually command a tidy sum, but this time, well, seems you rendered me a service. Take this. Handful of demons live on that shard. Wasn't Bart Moss who coded them. But they should be useful nonetheless. Thanks, Nix. You gonna get it together? Be alright? Or, uh, you need help? No, no. Be just fine. Couple of painkillers washed down with whiskey, and I'll be a new man.
Who would have thought? did it again and we just got back together and now he's dodging my calls he's just scared of getting dumped and so he always does it first and i'm always the one trying to save the relationship Ugh, i feel like such a gonk he's the gonk here theo not you you have so much love and empathy to give to people like him but at what cost i gotta go now Thanks for listening to all my bitching. I bet you even Donald Lundy sometimes goes through a whole tub of ice cream and three packets of tissues. <sighs> Brandon, you are the sweetest person I know. I'll see you later. Who's that girl you were talking to? Oh, you mean Theo? She's my bestest friend. Gosh, <laughs> she's so nice and pretty. And sensitive? I like talking to her. Definitely way more fun than pumping out caramel lattes. Why do I get the feeling that judging people on how they look and feel is ever so slightly beyond you? Hogwash. If I couldn't analyze people, how would I know whether to recommend a daring dairy instead of a Tiancha? I may have overestimated you. You're nothing but a robot. And not even a complex one at that. You don't need to be complex to say something meaningful from time to time. That's yet to be proven. See you, Brendan. Starting to get used to these little meetings. I sense you have many questions. I may answer only one. What is it you're teaching me? I am preparing you so that when the time comes, you will make the right choice. What choice? When? <laughs> All right. One question. Are you ready for the final meditation technique? The last one? Yes. It will cost however much you want. Hope this'll do. I will guide you through the meditation.
This is a meditation of the air element. We are in the mountains, heading toward the peak. We squeeze between two boulders. On the first boulder sits an eagle. The spirit of the air passes through every fiber of this eagle. Spirit of the air, primordial wind, I send you greetings. We are of one blood, you and I. You are within me, and I am within you. Without you, life would not last even a few minutes. So vital are you to us. Oh, great spirit of the air, please cleanse my body and soul. Relinquish pain, sickness, the negative energy from negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, happiness, and lasting inner peace. I am an eagle. The wind cushions my wings, caresses my feathers, enters every fiber of my body, fills the spaces of every atom and molecule. The wind cleanses the body, the soul, and the subtle body. Circling upwards, we rise up high. We feel lightness, purity, joy. Our body is filled with happiness, peace, and harmony. We thank you, spirit of the air, with our mind, body, and soul. And he is gone. <laughs> At least he left something. Fuck, I feel like a dog's shit. You see that? There was a Zen master here, and poof, he vanished like that. The fuck are you talking about? He taught me how to meditate. It was kind of weird. Not my scene. Go and talk to... to Misty if it bothers you. Yeah, good idea.
What are you doing? I'm perfectly satisfied with my appearance, thank you very much. Sir, please stop. You'll do fucking what? I could make... You deaf? He asked you to do something. Politely. Chill the fuck out. It's just an SCSM. Please, just leave me alone! Do it for your mother! I know Helen's very worried about you. The fuck? How you know my ma? You know him? Not personally, but his mother sometimes drops by for coffee. She says I'm a great listener. Can't argue with that. You're talking shit about my mama? I'll fuck you up! Pack up your shit and get out of here before I break your hands. You gotta be joking! Over a piece of fucking metal? I'll count to three. One. Two. Dog's crazy, yo! Thank you, V. Boy, I was scared to my core. I thought he'd paint some mean things on me. The humiliation. Say, since we've been through so much together, I guess that makes us best friends. That calls for a discount. Thanks, Brendan. Don't worry. You deserve it. You're one tough cookie. And yet, so nice. Not to everyone. I couldn't be mean even if I wanted to. Especially to you. Can't speak ill of the dead, right? Wait, what? You're not supposed to be here. And yet, here you are. Like a glitch in the system. Or a demon coated by a brilliant netrunner. You know what demons are capable of. Right, V? How, how did you know that? Surprised? Lots of people come to me. So, I listen to them and learn how they talk. I caught your name once or twice and pieced together the puzzle. Not bad for SCSM, right? Uh, how about... We'll talk later, all right? Catch you later, Brennan. You know, I've been in cyberspace, and I did actually meet a corpse or two there. Hark the witness! Testify of those who burn in hellfire! Yeah, didn't see that fire. You ask! Who opened these unholy gates of the abyss? No one's asking. And I answer you! The techno-necromancers of Alpha Centauri! I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? You do good work. Use this to wake Night City up. Thank you for your devotion. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. Thank <laughs> you. 
radio waves bear the truth. Let those with ears listen and those with eyes behold. So, now that you're back... I saw a weird image out on the street. Uh, seems like your line of work. What'd it look like? I grabbed a scan. Take a look. Taro. Major Arcanum. What you saw was a sign from a higher power. They have already won! I was, the what now? Major Arcanum? Tarot card, archetype, knowledge held in symbolic form, a stage in your journey through life. Take your pick. Either way, you're saying some higher power's talking to me through tarot cards. Or to Silverhand. Or both of you, seeing as you form a harmonious whole at the moment. You know, it'd be a little easier if this higher power learned to be direct. Well, the world is a maze of illusions. It's not easy for the light to shine into the prison of our earthly existence. Right. Great. So, what do I do with a sign I can't understand, from a power I know nothing about? I'd start by looking for more of them. The tarot describes a road. So go down it. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with what I find. Look for more images. They must have some connection to the place where you find them. Think about what you see. You ask me? They've been sent to help you find the truth. Finding the truth is pretty far down on my list at the moment. A difficult time is coming when you'll have to choose which road to take. Then, you'll understand. I don't know. Come on back when you've found more. I'll help you decipher what you've seen. Hey, Misty. I happened upon some more murals. A little different, these. Can't say exactly how, just... different. Hmm. Describe what you saw for me. For they are coming. So, um, saw a hooded figure, star, pentagram behind him. Devil's dealings, your area of expertise too? Hmm. The King of Pentacles. Having dealings of your own, with one who's built a rich, powerful realm through sheer determination. Someone like that. Dangerous fee. The world looks different from atop a throne. Your reign is constantly under threat. Hmm. <laughs> Rather deal with satanic shit, honestly. Saying I gotta be on my guard? I'm not sure simple caution's enough. Bad fate's stronger than that. But follow your heart, I always say. Even in defeat, you'll remain true to yourself. Thanks, Misty. I guess. Still gotta wrap my head around this. You know where to find me if you need any help, V. Listen, don't laugh, uh, but been seeing some weird shit around town, like murals or something, but I know they're not real. Uh, just a Kiroshi blip. Could take a look. No, no, the images are too complex for a blip. It's like they're symbols. That case is the biochip. Brain can't handle the data overload. Either that, or it's reached the cortex. Can you do anything? Nope. Better find a way to get rid of that chip. How's it going with Mama Wells? Pretty good. 
maybe too good. Well, how's that? After we said goodbye to Jackie, she invited me over. We talked for a while. Now, not a day goes by when she doesn't call. Ask how it's going. Tells me about herself, Jackie, everything. Sometimes for hours. Sent me a roast the other day. You believe that? Apparently I'm too skinny. She knows I don't eat meat. V, I'm afraid she's trying to, I don't know, adopt me somehow. What's the big deal? I wish somebody would make me a roast. I think Miss Wells is using me to avoid thinking about her son's death. With a new surrogate daughter. Exactly. You ever run into a guy who calls himself a Zen master? No, but I've heard of him. He try and give you some meditation BDs? Uh-huh. And then he disappeared. All I found was his clothes. And that worries you. The way he was talking, it was like he knew about Johnny. He didn't say anything directly, but... Maybe you just took his teachings too close to heart. Yeah, maybe. In any case, if you see him again, send him to me. You want to meditate too? No, I want to read his tarot. How's it going, Misty? You all right? I think so. Not easy, you know. Putting my life back together. Without him. And you? I mean, you too? It's weird, but... I think we're starting to see eye to eye. I had a feeling it'd work out. It's hard not to get along with you, V. How's biz, Misty? Booming? Hmm. <sighs> You're the first person to walk in here for two days. And two days ago, it was a pizza guy. Got lost. People in this town, they've lost their spiritual connection. But well, you know, I'm here to serve them, not the other way around. Jackie gave you these cards, right? I remember when he asked me to help him pick the right deck. Mm-hmm. He picked just the thing for me, too. I feel a real connection to this deck. We could lay out a spread for you now, if you like. Yeah. Why the hell not? Focus on the recent past and what you expect the Hermit. In solitude, he discovers the truth about himself and the world. From this, he draws strength. His lantern cutting through the darkness. Could be you, or someone who shows you kindness. But watch out. A reversed Hierophant lurks in the darkness. He brings crisis, both in life and authority, rebellion and fanaticism. He is a grave threat. The devil reversed. You will find yourself under the influence of powerful people with unclear motives. Be very careful. The tower. You and everyone around you will experience a great shock. When the tower falls, nothing will be the same again. Nothing at all. Thanks for the heads up, Misty. I'll watch out. I'm glad you understand. Hey, Misty. I happened upon some more murals. A little different, these. Can't say exactly how, just... different. Hmm. Describe what you saw for me. Thanks, Misty.
executives your leaders, but they are not human, no. But then what, you ask? Reptilians! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes, creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin! Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity! If it's such a big giveaway, won't they just install optics? <laughs> or use contact lenses at least? If it were only so simple, they are reptiles. Their nervous system isn't compatible with human cybernetics. Then why not have their own rippers invent some? Are you sure they haven't already? And where did this filth slither out from, you ask? Antarctica, you said that already. Today they hide amidst the snow and ice of the South Pole. Step by step, usurping our crown as creation's chosen. Millions of years ago, they evolved from dinosaurs to become the world's first advanced, intelligent race. And who is their progenitor? Their masters? The scientists of Alpha Centauri! I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? Humble. <laughs> Sounds affordable. Just don't spend it on stupid shit. Thank you. This has bought me a day or two. Radio waves bear the truth. Let those with ears listen and those with eyes behold. Their mothership conceals itself above our very heads. Ready yourself, for they are coming. Open your mind before it is too late. If you turn a blind eye